Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm going to be introducing a very interesting workflow that uses face swap with Flux Pulid and utilizing multiple group face image input to swap into the faces in a Flux generated image. This workflow automatically detects faces from the original Flux generated image and masks them automatically. And this means the user doesn't need to manually use the mask editor for inpainting. The first workflow involves using a couple photo where individual faces are detected, followed by upscaling the image on the face so it can be used for the face swap. The second workflow allows multiple input images to be uploaded. I decided not to combine them into a single workflow because that would require building a switch to control the path, which was a little bit too complex to implement. I'll go through each workflow in detail later, but briefly, the workflow first generates the image using the flux guff model. For the prompt, you would need something like generate superhero portraits with one male on the left and one female on the right, similar to the group input image. The next step is segmenting, which automatically masks out individual faces using the ultralytic selector provider node. I'm using the B-Box face model to create a bounding box around the faces and the SAM model then utilizes this bounding box to create a accurate segmentation for each face. The resulting masks generate a list of all detected faces, which can then be individual selected when using Pulid. In order to set up Pulid, we need to follow the Pulid Flux 2 repository. This custom node is an upgrade from the Pulit Flux 1 and we're going to be using version 0.9.1 model instead of the 0.9.0 which is an older version. You can simply go to the custom node manager and type in comfy Pulid and install the second version listed. Additionally, you need to download the Eva Cliff model and place it inside the clip folder inside models. You also need to install all the models that end with .on and X and put them inside comfyui slash models slash insight face slash model slash antelope v2 folder. Lastly, download these three models and place them under comfyui slash models slash face xlib as shown here. Now let's go to the workflow. I'm going to be first loading up the group image workflow and I'll run through the nodes in detail. As mentioned in the introduction, this section involves running the flux guff model and generating a realistic portrait image. You need to generate an image that matches the structure of the group input picture. For example, if there is a female on the left and a male on the right, the prompt should be structured accordingly, and once the image is generated, it is then inputted into the SAM detector for accurate mask segmentation of the face. I'm using the B-Box detector to first detect the image, followed by the SAM model. After the SAM detector finishes, the mask will be generated in list like this in preview node. The mask will be detected from left to right on the original flux generated image and you can see the mask matches the facial structure from the original image. Once the mask list is generated, I'm using the select nth mask by the inspire custom node to select each mask by index. The index 0 means we're selecting the first item in an array as is common in programming. Moving over to the right in the pulet face detector from the group photo section. We load up the couple photo as input image. We are detecting faces from left to right, meaning the Pulit flux detector will identify the faces sequentially from the left side to the right. And there are different options to choose from depending on the structure of your group image. If you want to start detection from top to bottom instead, there's an option for that as well. For now, I'm selecting two faces from the input image, but you can add another Pulit flux option to generate a third face from the input image if needed. In this case, I don't need that because there are only two faces. Once the faces are generated, they are input into the make image list node. Since the initial images tend to be lower resolutions, I added a upscale section. After upscaling, you get a list of high resolution faces from which I select the individual upscaled image using this selector node to input for the applied fuelit flux node.
The applied Pulet Flux node is from the Comfy UI Pulet Flux 2 custom node, and we're using the new Pulet Flux version 0.9.1 Save Tensor model, as seen here. It utilizes the Flux realistic guff model with a unit loader. You can find this guff model from the Civit AI page here. In this step, I'm using the Select Nth Mask node to select the first mask from the generated list, which masks out the female superhero from the output image. We still need to swap out the male superhero's face, so we reuse the output image from the first pass and use it as an input for the second apply pullet. This time, we use the second mask from the list instead of the first, as it corresponds to the segmentation of the male face. This process results in the final output image here. If you need to swap a third face, simply enable the third apply pullet pass and ensure that you generate three portrait photos instead of two. Now I'm going to open up a slightly different workflow that uses three input images. Instead of using the pullet flux node to detect individual faces in a group image and selecting them for input in the apply pullet node, this method allows you to upload three separate face images. Each inputted image is then passed sequentially to the applied pullet section to generate the final output image. This workflow is useful if you prefer to upload individual face images rather than using a group photo. I've uploaded the second workflow to my GitHub profile so you can check it out there. The group photo workflow is available exclusively for Patreon members. If you join my Patreon group, you'll gain access to exclusive workflows from time to time and you'll also be able to join my private Discord channel to ask questions about the workflow or get help. Here is an example of three input images of faces that I'm going to upload for Pulid. And this is a flux generated image with the prompt from here and I'm creating three superhero portraits with three faces with flux dev. And after this flux dev generated image goes through the SAM detector, I'm going to be getting a list of three masks with exactly segmented faces. The first mask will be used for this face, which is for the input image of Simon Liu. And this is a result of being passed through the first apply pullet node. And we're going to be using this second mask to generate and face swap the third person with Steve Jobs and this is a result. I can see the result is a little bit different from the actual face but I think it's because it's not transferring over the actual glasses and this is a result of the third mask which is of uh, Elon Musk's face. I think this one is pretty accurate and here's a comparison of each pass side by side. If you want to modify the workflow to upload the group image instead of using the flux dev generated image you can double click the environment and create a load image node. And instead of connecting the output image of Bay decode node to Bbox detector and SAM detector, we can connect the output image of the load image node to the rest of the detector nodes instead of the Bay decode node.